Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Cartoon Apocalypse, and today I have some very exciting news for people who are fans of Miraculous. Now, as some of you may know, the 29th of June this month, we will be seeing The Queen's Battle Part 1 and 2. Part 3 will be released later in the summer, but Part 1 and 2 will be released earlier. But today we have the synopsis released for Part 1 and Part 2. The first part will be called Style Queen, and part two will be Queen Wasp. So let's dive in to the synopsises. So the synopsis of Style Queen is humiliated by Gabriel Agrest, Chloe's mother gets akumatized into Style Queen, armored with a scepter and determined to get revenge. She attacks Adrian. Now this by itself is super interesting because we haven't really seen Chloe's mother like too much. We've seen a couple pictures and they've mentioned her, but we haven't actually seen her character, I don't think. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. But the fact that she gets humiliated by Adrian's father, Gabriel Agrest, gets me really like, what's going on here to prompt this? Is there like some beef between the two? Like, is Chloe being like, hey, mom, uh, make me date Adrian or something like that? Could be something like that, and Gabriel's just defending Adrian, which is something that I'd love to see. The character development between Gabriel and Adrian has definitely improved, and I love to see that. The fact that Chloe's mother is going after Adrian makes me believe that he was involved in this whole Gabriel aggressed humiliates Chloe's mother thing. Because, like I said earlier, I think it's going to involve something like Chloe being like, hey, mom, make me date Adrian or something. Because that just seems like something that Chloe would do. <laughs> so, that by itself is already super interesting. And it's like, yes, can't wait to see that. How is Cat Noir going to like become a thing in this episode because she's attacking Adrian? I don't know. You know what? It seems like Cat Noir seems to be left out on a lot of things just because he's involved in stuff. It's like, it's not really fair to Ladybug because she has to do so much more work. But that synopsis was really interesting. But the second synopsis gets me really interested. So. The synopsis of Queen Wasp is, after transforming into Queen Bee to try to impress her mother, Chloe gets akumatized into Queen Wasp. There are so many things that we learn from this. Now if you didn't know, Queen Bee is another like superhero such as Cat Noir, Ladybug, Rena Rouge, and just the other ones that we've had confirmed. We knew that Queen Bee was probably going to be Chloe because if you just take a look at Queen Bee, she looks a lot like Chloe. And this episode synopsis confirms that it is Chloe who is going to be Queen Bee. But that's not the only thing that we learn from the synopsis. We learn that the superheroes can be akumatized, which we didn't know. We haven't seen any of the superheroes get akumatized yet. I mean, we know that the people can get akumatized, we just didn't know if the people, like, with the Miraculous could be... I, we didn't know if they could be akumatized or not, but this confirms that it does. Now, maybe it doesn't mean it because it says Chloe gets akumatized, but we, as we know, Chloe is Queen Bee, so it may not be the same thing, but I think it is going to. Now, this episode really has me questioning some things. Why does Chloe have the Queen Bee Miraculous? Because Marinette just doesn't like Chloe, and <laughs> she would probably like Marinette would probably be like, no, I don't. I, the, Chloe's the last person I'd give a miraculous to. But Adrian has seen Master Fu before, so it is possible that Adrian gives the miraculous out. Now I'm not sure if he does because Marinette's been doing all that stuff. But since Adrian does now know Master Fu, that's more of a possibility. Another thing that we learned, man, so many things have been learned just from this one sentence. Chloe seems to reveal her identity to her mother, which is like, what? Wait, why? Now, Chloe does seem like the type of person who would do that. Chloe just doesn't make it a, a good superhero. I don't, I don't see why Chloe would ever get this miraculous again. But if she's trying to impress her mother, it's likely that she's like, hey mom, check me out, I'm uh, Queen Bee. And it's like, well now they know. So it's like, Hawk Moth has an advantage here. Now we've known about the Queen's battle for a while, 
and we've known that Chloe would be akumatized uh, along with Chloe's mother and along with Chloe's father, I believe, also gets akumatized in the third battle. But I didn't expect Chloe to start off as Queen Bee. That took me by surprise, and it's super interesting. Another thing that this confirms, well, I mean, we knew it a, a while ago, but another thing is that Hawk Moth can akumatize two people at once. I don't know if we've seen that or not in the show before, but it's confirmed now. But it is super interesting to see that all of this is coming together to make a three-part special. Now, I love the specials, and I think they're awesome. I wish that the third part would be playing on the 29th as well, but we'll just have to wait for the third part. Now, I really don't know what to expect from this episode. I'm, I'm more excited for part two than I am part one. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm still super excited about part one. But part two, we get to see Queen Bee, which is Chloe, and I just want to see how Chloe reacts to it and how she was even prompted to be given this. Maybe Ladybug and Cat Noir need Queen Bee to take out Style Queen, but I really... Who knows at this point? We'll just have to wait and find out, and I'm sure there will be some promos for it in the upcoming future, which you can expect to see an analysis on. But anyway, that's going to be all for this video. If you guys enjoyed, then you can leave a like and subscribe for more miraculous content in the future. If you guys are interested in seeing more content similar to this, you can go ahead and subscribe. We are the best place to get this kind of content because I don't know of anyone else who does it like I do. So I hope you subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. But anyway, that's going to be all, and I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye. The internet.